Our kind tell many stories, among them those of the legendary hero, Prince Alarera. And it is told how, when the great Lord Frith made the world, he felt himself to be in friendship with Alarera, and how, despite the prince's impudence and cunning, Frith chose to bestow on him a great blessing, saying, All the world will be your enemy. And when they catch you, O oh prince with a thousand enemies, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. Digger, listener, runner. Be shrewd and full of tricks, and your people, and your people shall never be destroyed. Shall never be destroyed. Watership Down by Richard Adams. Dramatised by Brian Sibley. Part One. What? What's happening? No! 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 What? What are you doing? I can't understand. <laughs> Noise. S smell. I can't breathe. No escape. No way out. Flesh ripping. Tearing. Bones cracking. Splitting. Blood. Blood everywhere. He's, he's coming. I see him. Fiver. The Dark One. I have come. Fear. Darkness. Come for my people. Death. Fiver, wake up. Uh, uh, it, it's all right, Fiver. I'm here. There's, there's blood. Blood. There's death. You were dreaming, little brother. Hazel? Just one of your dreams. It was terrible. Well, it's over now. It's not. Hazel, it's not over. Get back to sleep. It won't seem so bad in the morning. There's danger, Hazel. Fiver, please listen. Not now. You'll wake the whole place. But... Fiver, we'll talk about it tomorrow. And so, in the shadow-haunted labyrinth of nightmare, begins the story of the outskirt of Hazel, his brother Fiver and those who joined him in pursuit of a vision. Morning, the time of Sylphie. As sunrise reddens the clouds, a solitary blackbird sings in the wild cherry. The dandelions, cowslips and kingcups gleam gold and yellow. Something was approaching. Like the smell of a fox or the wing beat of a crow, and then... Then clouds reeking of death, allele our enemies bellowing and roaring, their machines ripping and tearing at the earth, cries and screams. And suddenly, he was there. Who? Frith's envoy. The Black Emissary. I have come for my people. It was a nightmare, that's all. I see things, Hazel, you know I do. Can you honestly see any signs of danger this morning? Come on, race you to the brook. Hazel! Look! What now? There. That board on posts. That wasn't there yesterday. No. No, it wasn't. And there are markings on it. That's where it's coming from. It's, it's coming closer and closer. Hazel, the field. 
It's covered in blood. Fiver, it's just the sunrise. It's not. I tell you, the field is full of blood. Stop it. I'll look after you. I always do, don't I? We've got to get away before it's too late. From Sandalford? Yes, and soon. And go where? Anywhere. It doesn't matter. I, I know what it is now. We're going to be invaded. <laughs> invaded? Fiver, I know you think you have to warn them. Tell the Freyara. The chief? He'll never listen to us. No one will listen to us. You, you know what they call you? Hazel's mad little brother who jumps at the sound of a blue bottle? Please, if we don't, they'll all die. I've no idea what you think you've seen. I know you believe it. And if there's some danger, then... Yes, I suppose the chief should know. If something happens... Yes, I'd never forgive myself. Sir. Captain Holly. It's Bigwig, sir, one of the Owsler. With a couple of outskirters. <sighs> Very well. This way. This is Hazel, sir. He says there's something important you need to know. Well? Uh, sir, uh, it's my brother. Fiver, here. He sees things. What sort of things? Coming dangers. Th things the rest of us can't see. He's been right again and again. Really? The flood last autumn. He knew it was coming. Indeed. That is true, sir. Thank you, Bigwig. Sir. Go on. He says he can sense some terrible danger coming. Something far worse than the flood. So what is this new danger? Invasion. Invasion? Blood. Death. And what do you suggest we do about this invasion? Go away, all of us, now. Well, let's just think about this a moment, shall we? No El Eel for miles, or so they tell me. No illness, good weather, plenty of food. And yet you want me to tell our people that because you have a hunch, they've all got to leave their homes and set off for goodness knows where. What do you think they'll say? They do what you told them to, sir. Nevertheless... I should have to consider the matter very carefully. No time. There's danger. Like a wire round my neck. Tightening. Tightening. He, he gets like this sometimes, sir. Uh, he'll be all right in a moment. I really think you'd better take him away. Yes, sir. Come on, Fiver. Hazel. I shall, of course, think over all you said. Thank you, sir. I'll see him out, sir. No big wig. Captain Ollie can do that. I have something to say to you. What did you expect, Hazel? I don't know. I've never been near the chief before. But at least no one can say we didn't warn him. Then you really believe, Fiver? I'm certain, Blackberry. Well, I'm glad you are. You're off duty, Bigwig. Permanently. Chief doesn't like having his time wasted on trivial nonsense. He suggested that maybe I wasn't suited for the Owsler. And I said I couldn't care less about the privileges of belonging to his personal militia. And that was that. Sorry if I've cost you your post. No, nah, what's done's done. But just you tell me this. What you said back there, it's true? Or is it some stupid hoax? I wish it wasn't. But I know it. I feel it. Foul-smelling mist. <gasps> for some deathly sleep, for those who run ripped flesh, shattered bone, burning pain and blood. <laughs> so, when you're leaving... Leaving? Yes. Fiverr and I leave after moonrise tonight. Well, you can count me in. We can? Got nothing to look forward to here now but being pushed around. And anyone who's strong enough can do just as well by leaving. Blackberry. Why not? You're scared to stay, I'm scared to go. But there are too many bucks in this warrant. If I have to choose, then I'll go. In that case, Blackberry, let's try to persuade as many as we can to join us. Come on. How easy will that be? Well, I didn't think we'd win over Bigwig. It would be a great help. It'll be difficult. No sign of them. They'll come. We can't wait much longer. They'll come. I know. Blackberry. No. 
dandelion. But we were in the same burrow in the snow last winter. Oh, I remember. I've heard you leaving. I'll come too, if you'll have me. Of course. Here's Blackberry. I thought you'd be gone by now. We were waiting for you and Bigwig. He's right behind me. He's been rounding up a few others. We ought to be going. There's a wild rumour going round. Rumour? Some nonsense about a plot against the Thrayer. Are we ready? What kept you? Mm, the owls were hard work, but I brought Hulk, Bit and Acorn. Hello. I'm glad you came. Silver will follow as soon as he's off duty. Big wake! <gasps> Hazel, quiet. What do you want, Holly? You're under arrest. What for? Spreading dissension and inciting mutiny. If I were you... I'd forget you found me or that we had this conversation. Now listen to me. We can fight about this if you really want, Holly. But if we do, then I'll kill you. Don't you threaten me. I'm here on the traitor's orders. Keep going. I'll follow. Go! We must keep moving, Hazel. When Bigwig gets here... I see him. He's coming. And Holly won't be far behind. And half the house not with him. All right, let's go. Which way? Fiverr, over there, follow the brook. Through the wood? We go where Fiverr says we go. Our kind don't like woodland. When above ground, we prefer open spaces where we can see danger and ways to escape. Woods are full of too many unknown perils. I hate this place. But we're safer in here than out in the fields. Oh, that's a matter of opinion. Look, Holly's going to think twice about following us in here at night. This path over here, through the bracken. Nice surprise, Hazel. Our brook's become a river. So, Fiverr, what are we supposed to do now? Cross it. Cross it? I can't say I want to jump in there. Our way ahead lies on the other side. Oh, give me strength. But look, we need to eat and drink. Let's get down nearer to the water's edge and see how things are. You're really sure about this, Fiverr? We have to get into that field on the other side. And then where? I'm not sure. But, but I, I know what we're looking for. A high, lonely place where we can see and hear all around us. A place where we can live undisturbed, unthreatened. That would be worth a journey, wouldn't it? There is such a place. I know there is, Hazel. Just as I know, we have to cross the river. But what if the others refuse? Then... And we'll have to go on alone, but uh, I'm a fiver. I'm sorry, but I have to rest first. Uh, if we're crossing this river, then we must do it straight away. But, but, but a large dog, loose in the wood. You sure? I saw it. Crossing the clearing, only a matter of time before it picks up our scent. <gasps> Everyone into the river. Well, we can't leave until Fiver's up to tackling it. Don't be a fool. What do you suggest then? Simple. Those who can swim, swim. Those who can't, have to stay here and hope for the best. No. I got Fiverr into this, and I'm going to get him out. You didn't get Fiverr into it. He got you into it. Hazel! Blackberry, we're talking! No, you're arguing. Down here. I may have the answer. Look what I found. A flat piece of wood ran aground. The markings on it are like that board up by the warren. If it floated down here, then it can float Fiverr across to the other side. It's clever, Blackberry. Yeah, unless he floats downstream and it's the last we'll see of him. It just needs a couple of strong swimmers to push it in the right direction. That'll be us, Bigwig. All right, all right. Let's get Fiverr onto the board. <laughs> get away from us! Huh? I've got it! It's tipping! Keep still! Bigwig! Oh, where is he? Come on! Come on, Percy, we've done it! Right! Fiver? I'm fine. 
Prince be praised. Let's be grateful the river wasn't any wider. Oh, dandelion, bigwig. Thank you. Oh, that was Blackberry's idea. Well, it saved my life. Yeah, just hope it warms up soon. I'm frozen. I won't forget this, Blackberry. Now we all need to get some rest. You must sleep, little brother. I don't like us being so far from cover. We need to get them over to that hedgerow. Yeah, and if the farmer comes with his... Look out! Oh, what? Oh, 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 Run straight for it! Huh? I'll it from behind! Come on, the rest of you! Look on me, you coward! Ah! 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 Fiver, are you all right? Uh, has it gone? Yes. Thanks, Big Wig. Again. We're having quite the day, aren't we? Big Wig. Why have you stopped? Something strange up ahead. I've never smelt anything like this before. It's a road. Men use them for their de deal. Can it hurt us? You know, only if you're not careful. Otherwise, there's nothing to them. I'll show you. A de deal's coming. Right now. Watch. Uh, don't get too close. Oh. <laughs> See? Oh. <laughs> It didn't take any notice of you. Yeah, that's true. During the day. My best to leave him alone at night. Haruda, they'll have great lights, brighter than Frith himself. They can draw you to them and... And? It's just safer to keep clear once it's dark. That'll be soon. So let's get across while we can. Our race is not born to wander far and wide or embrace the challenge of journeying and discovery. The moon sails free of cloud, illuminating a strange, forbidding landscape, broken by rifts and pits glimmering in the moonlight. All is strange. The plants, the very soil itself, is unfamiliar. This night and this common seem to be going on forever. The smell of the heather is overpowering. Blackberry, what's going on over there? A couple of them want to give up and go back. Bigwig said he'd scratch any deserter to pieces, and now Hawkbit wants to know who's chief, you or Bigwig. Who is chief, anyway? Frith in a fog, I don't know. Bigwig's the strongest. But there's too few of us to be giving orders. Haven't we enough trouble and danger already? It'll blow over. Dandelion and I'll go and try and calm things down. Thank you. Hazel. Hmm? Fiber. Up there. You see that ridge? Yes. That's the place for us. High, lonely hills. That's where we're to go. Oh, it's too far, Fiver. We need somewhere safe and soon. There's a thick mist between the hills and us. What mist? It's, it's a perfectly clear night. The one who goes back through the gap will run his head into trouble. Oh, I, I can't see clearly for the mist. Well, until you can, we have to keep everyone together and keep going. This rain never stop. Well, if we're going to be here any time, we better start digging some scrapes so we can... Hazel, look over there. Staring at us. What does she want? Let's go and find out. Let's not. Hello. Have you travelled far? 
A little way. Well, we saw you coming down over the hill. Well, what do you want? I'm Kelsey, and I don't want anything. My name's Hazel. These are my friends. Are you thinking of settling here? Well, what if we are? Well, nothing. Big wig. After all, there's plenty of grass. Well, we can defend ourselves. I'm sure you can. E except... Yes? Well, it's hard to defend yourselves against the weather. It seems ridiculous to be out in this rain, if you don't have to. Are there many of you? Quite a few. Can we trust you? Uh, what my brother means is, uh, we've been through a lot. Dangerous situations. Of course. I understand. It's always better to get things clear. But can we trust you? Yes. You can trust us. We've plenty of room, so if you want to join us, you'll be welcome. Now, forgive me, I won't stay longer. I hate the rain. You'll find our place just round the corner of that wood. What do you make of her? Fitter than we are. To be trusted, you think? Only one way to find out. Go and see. What I don't get is, what do they stand to gain from our joining them. We should leave this place now. Big week. Oh, there's an old saying. Fools attract enemies by being easy prey. You're against going? Not so long as we can keep our wits about us. I'll take a chance for a decent night's sleep in the dry. <laughs> and if they give us trouble, they'll find I can give plenty back. Besides, we'll look a load of cowards if we don't go. That's my view. Let's go. Hello, Freya, and let it be the right thing I'm doing. And so they come into a place blessed with a perpetual languid ease that might almost have been prepared for the weary traveller through the loving care of the great Lord Frith. <coughs> it's huge. This is all wrong. Hazel? You and your friends are most welcome. It's good to be out of the bad weather. You need rest and food after your long journey. Sounds good. It certainly does. Hey, I'm Strawberry, and this is Neil Drew Hay. Hello. Uh, this is my brother, Fiverr. We're pleased you've come to join us. Some of our best sleeping quarters are quite close. Your friends can stay here while we show you. This way. Thank you. This place is very impressive. The Great Hall. Oh, yes. The roof's all tree roots, you know. Oh, it's a piece of masterly building. Is Cowslip your chief? We don't have a chief. Who runs the Owsler? Keeps you safe from enemies. Oh, we've no need of an Owsler. And no enemies. Our kind always has enemies. Your quarters are just along here. Surely someone organises scouting parties. <laughs> There's no need. We have all the food we can eat. Greens, carrots, turnips. Where does it come from? It's always there for us. In the field, every day. The man throws it down. Here, take a look. <sighs> what do you think? It's very comfortable. Uh, this food, the man gives it to you. All we have to do is collect it and carry it back. Carry it? Oh, it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Like a dog learns to fetch and carry a stick. Fiver, uh, come through here. There's something rather special we'd like to show you. There. We call it a shape. I'm sorry? What is it? You've not seen one before. Stones pushed into the earth wall to make the shape of El Herrera. We've several, but this is the best. It was made by King Cup. He'll be around here somewhere. King Cup! We, we have visitors! King Cup? He's usually here at work. He went outside to Silfle this morning. We should be getting back to the Great Hall. Oh. How are our new digs? Excellent. I never dreamt we'd reach a place like this. You've done a great job in bringing us here. We should never have come here. Oh. Before we eat, we thought you might like to hear a tale or a rhyme. A, a story of El Herrera, perhaps? 
What about El Herrera and the King's Lettuce? Oh, one of my favourites. <laughs> we don't tell the old stories very much. Our stories and poems are mostly about our own lives here. Silverweed is one of our best poets. I think you'll be impressed. Silverweed, mm -hmm. recite for us. Oh. <laughs> Frith lies in the evening sky. The clouds are red about him. I am here, Lord Frith. I am running through the long grass. Oh, take me with you, dropping behind the woods, far away to the heart of light, the silence. For I am ready to give you my breath, my life, the shining circle of the sun, the sun. Stop, Fiverr! Whatever's wrong with him? That's not a poem. It's the truth. It's the terrible truth. Well, your young brother is tired and hungry. We must fetch you some food. Uh, actually, uh, I was thinking of going outside to Silfla. Oh, it's still raining. Much better to feed in here. Uh, thank you, but we're used to it. Uh, Hazel was plenty. Rain doesn't bother us, does it, Big Wigan? Uh, no. No, no, of course not. Let's go then, shall we? What was all that about, Hazel? so through. Did you really want to still play? It's what we do, isn't it? I don't get it. I want to know what's upset Fiverr. We shouldn't be here. Our journey's not over yet. And when will that be? When you have another one of your dreams? Who knows, maybe this journey of yours will never be over. Big wig. There's something strange about Cowslip and the others. Because they're friendly. Because they seem terribly sad. They remind me of trees in November. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? It's as if they have something on their minds. And why is the Warren so big when there's so few of them? Maybe they've been through some trouble. If we're staying, we have to get on with them. And they're too big for us to fight. I'm not sure if they can fight. Why do you say that? The smell. What smell? It's like barley rained on them, left to rot in the fields. Like a wounded mole that can't get underground and is waiting for death. There's something unnatural and evil twisted all around this place. That hall with its roof of roots is as if they weren't roots at all, but something else. What? Bones. Listen to me, Fiverr. What you're going to do now is come back with the rest of us and sleep. Hazel, I can't. No more arguments. We'll see how things look tomorrow. For Fiverr, no rest. Plagued by yet another dream. Cold. Cold. A roof of twisted bones become the interlaced spray of a yew tree. Stiff twigs twisted in and out, over and under, hard as ice and set with dull red berries. <laughs> No. Come on. Hazel, don't. We'll carry the berries home. I don't think I can. And eat them in the great. We must learn. See, Hazel. If you want to go out. Carrying's out. easy. I can do it. Big week, stop. I'm running another way. Ask me where. Where? I'm running to join the Black Careful. Emerson. Don't drop the berries. They're so cold. So hard. <laughs> Not berries. Red. <gasps> Fiverr, what are you doing out here? I'm going. Where? Where I've always known we've had to go. The hills. Alone? You die. You're closer to death than me. You miserable little run of a no, good no, mind no, to no, come some big, sense big, into big, you. Can't you see? Something's scaring him out of his wits. Let me talk with him. Madness. Go back and tell the others. I'm done with your crack-brained brother. Oh, bigwig! Frith, take him. Fiverr, wait for me. Hazel! Well, Fiverr, quick! Bigwig's in trouble! Bigwig! Oh! The, the, the red view breeze, the blood, the bubble. Fiverr, not dripping. now! What? Bigwig's caught in a trap. I need your help. The wire round his neck, the bite of the Yes, yes, all right! 
Bigwig, can you hear me? Run back to the Warren. Get the others. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes. Uh, Bigwig, listen. Uh, you're in some sort of snare. I, I don't know how it works. I need to know what to do. What did they tell you in the Owsler? Bigwig! Strong wire. No good biting. Peg, cut it. Dig! What, 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 what peg? Oh, come on, Fiverr! Come on! This way! Over here! Fritz, save us. We've got to do something, Blackberry. He's hardly breathing. Let me see. He said something about a, a peg and digging. What does it mean? What have we got to do? Look! The wire's on a peg in the ground there. We've got to dig it out. Dandelion, come and help! Hurry! Fiverr, is Cowslip coming? No. She told me to stop talking about it. She what? The peg's narrower down there. I'm sure it could be bitten through, but we can't reach it. Fiverr, you try. For Frith's sake, be quick. You can do it! Almost free. Keep at it! Done! <sighs> Bigwig, the peg's out! Bigwig! Hazel, I can't feel his breathing. Oh. He's coming. Who? The Black Emissary. Oh, quiet, Fiver. Bigwig, we've got you out. You're free. He's gone. No! Oh. <sighs> Hazel? Yes. Our people have a saying, known to you all. My heart has joined the thousand for my friend. My friend stopped running today. My friend stopped running, my friend stopped running today. Now, someone, tell me exactly what happened when Fiverr told you the news. Cowslip, Strawberry and the others turned their backs and pretended not to hear. Fiverr tried to speak to Cowslip as we were running out. And she spun round and struck him. I'll kill her. Oh, 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 I'll kill her. Help me, one of you. Can't anyone get this stinking wire off me? If I hold it down, can you get your head out? Yes. Oh, thank Frith for that. You must rest. No. We're going to go back to the Warren, and I'm going to oh. kill Castle. Oh, Emily of Frith, go back to the Warren. Are you mad? It, it's nothing but a death hole. Nothing but one man's larder. The whole place is snared every day, everywhere. They all know the terrible truth, that they'll die one by one to feed the farmer, yet still they pretend that all is well. Why is there no chief? Because a chief must be El Herrera to his people and keep them from death. In that place there's no death but one, and what chief could have an answer to that? <sighs> then we're well out of that place. But we daren't stay here. The man might come back any time to check the trap. We go on. Where? To the hills, like Fiverr said. I should have listened. Hazel, someone's coming from the Warren. Only one? What a pity. You take him, Blackberry. I won't deprive you. But make a good job of it. Something's wrong with him. He's blundering around all over the place. It's Strawberry. Are you going away? What's that to you? Take me with you. Please, take me with you. Oh, I'll go back to Cowslip and that doe of yours. Neil Drew Hay. She has stopped running. She went to look for King Cup. Both gone now. The wires. Don't need to tell me about wires. Uh, it's all right, Bigwig. Strawberry, you can come with us. They leave this place of roots and bones. Scarcely has Frith risen above the horizon, then they are gone. A magpie, seeing something shiny glittering amongst the grass in the early light, flies down to take a closer look. But all he finds is a splintered peg and a twisted length of wire. So the odyssey continues, though now there is no questioning Bigwig's strength. 
Fiverr's insight, Blackberry's wits, or Hazel's authority. At last, the travellers come to the north-facing escarpment of Watership Down, when the western sun, in the final hour before twilight, lies like a golden rind on the grass, firs and wind-stunted trees. Oh, this is the place. Oh, I can't even see the top from here. Oh, Frith, are you really sending us to live in the clouds? Might have known you'd outrun us, Dandelion. <sighs> so, what can you see? The whole world. <sighs> so you can. This clear warning of any approach from every direction. Oh, Friff on the hills. He must have made it just for us. <laughs> he may have done, but Fiverr found it for us. Oh. Looks as though you really knew what you were talking about, Fiverr. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Hey! Come and see what I found! If you thought this place was perfect, well, it just got better. Look, there's even a warren ready and waiting. What do you think? Oh, looks pretty old. No tracks, no droppings. Well, let's go down. Mm, no smell of death or disease. Perfectly sound. And totally deserted. A bit shallow and rough. But probably good enough for a bunch of vagabonds like us. What became of the occupants of this warren, I wonder? Yeah, and how come they never finished it? It's pretty cramped, to say the least. Think we're complaining again? <laughs> Just stating a fact. Then let's do something about it. Like what? Build something bigger. I want you to hear what Strawberry's got in mind. What's he go do with it? He knows how the Great Hall in Cowslip's Warren was constructed. I've no time for him. He'll be all right. And Bigwig, I won't have him bully. <sighs> Strawberry, tell Hazel and Bigwig your idea. Well, these beech trees would be a perfect location. Their roots are deep. They've broken up the ground. We can dig here and be as well off or better than we were in the old Warren. I, I thought we could make a start uh, early tomorrow. Hazel! What's wrong? It's Holly. I just found him wandering around, shaking. What's he doing here? Captain Holly. <laughs> Captain? Not anymore. Are you on your own? Yes. It's only me. Others... Oh, What's happened? Can you tell us? I was... It's all blurred. They came for the first a few, then more and more. Digging, filling the entrances to our home. They take long, thin, winding things. I have no words. Put them into any hole still open. It's terrible hissing. The air turns bad, spreads through the runs, the, the burrows. We're crammed in, to trying to escape. Clawing, clambering, passages blocked with dead, the living, tearing at the bodies to get out. How did you get away? It's a chance in a thousand. Frith guided me to an open run. Fresh air. I saw the end. Men with great crudodo. Noisy. Yellow. As yellow as the buttercup with a silver shining thing like a claw. This thing. How, how can I tell you? Tears the field to bits, earth, roots, grass, bushes, ripping, pushing, everything before it, destroying everything we ever knew. You don't have to say it anymore. Yes, I do. Fiverr was right. Oh, Holly, believe me, I'd no wish to be right. You were all right to leave the warren. A big wig. That night, back then... It's all right, Holly. Listen, it wasn't me who tried to arrest you. It was someone else. Long, long ago. Our people have a proverb that says, 
One cloud feels lonely. And it is true. The appearance of a single cloud often means that the sky will soon be overcast. The very next day, following one dramatic arrival, there occurs another. There is an early morning chill as twilight melts and the whole of Watership Down, earth and air, gives way to the sunrise and soundlessly, Frith enters the world with his gigantic, unassailable power. How's Holly? Recovering. But it'll take time. Yes. What do you make of the plans for the new Warren? Well, if Strawberry wasn't involved, I'd be happier. Don't underestimate him, Bigwig. He's smart. Well, he was smart enough to tag along with us, but anyway... Shh. Over there. In that hollow. Something's moving. What is it? It's as big as us. White back. Brown head. Let's take a closer look. Come on. Some sort of gull, I think. It looks like it's hurt. Can't see where. I'll go round. Look out! Oh, that was close. Could have broken your leg. What's going on? A bird. Can't move. Dying? Don't think so. Let's see if I can make it understand. Be careful. It's savage. I'll not get too close. You hurt? You no fly? You think me finish? You come kill me? Me no finish. Hurt you damn plenty. You hungry? Maybe. Maybe not. I think it's starving. So? It needs our help. <sighs> Go and see if you can find some worms or bugs. What? Didn't the housler teach you? I'll help. Come on, bigwig. Oh, well, strictly under protest. Want more food? Not hungry now. Stay small time, then go. You stay there, you dead. Bad place. Come fox, come kestrel. Damn the lot. Fight plenty. I bet it would, too. We help you, maybe. <laughs> Piss off. Oh, come on, let it alone. What for help me? Where you hurt? Wing no good. Cat jump on me, hurt wing. <laughs> hurt cat plenty, too. No forget Kihar. Oh, Kihar? Your name? Name, yes. My name, Hazel. This bigwig and dandelion. We make you safe. Hazel? You really think you can make a friend of that mean brute? I don't know, but what's the good of a blue tit or a robin? A what? I'll tell you later. Right now, she needs a place to stay. You two, find the others and get started. An open, wide hole with a flat floor a little below the level of one of the entrances to the warren. More digging? By nightfall. And more food. All right, all right. Riff only knows what he's up to. Where Kiha from? A long way from here. Earth stops just water. A river, you mean? No, no, uh, big water. Uh, all time it moves. Can't see other side. Many birds like me, thousands. Now stuck here. Can you walk? Wing bed, legs fine. What's this all about, Hazel? Thanks to Fiverr, we got here. And thanks to Strawberry, we're planning a better home than we've ever known. But there's something on my mind. And unless we find an answer, we're as good as finished. No does, you mean? And no does means no young. And in a few years, no Warren. So what's to do? Say out again? No. This is our home now. Uh, it's all right, Fiverr. I'd like to invite some does from another warren to help start a new community. There aren't any other warrens. We'll find one. How? Kiha will go and search for us. Brilliant. Will she do it? Well, maybe. With a little gentle persuasion. <laughs> Bigwig the diplomat. I thought you weren't too keen on helping her. Well, if it's a two-way process, I think I'll find Kiha a bit of extra food and, you know, have a little chat. Before long, they'll be comparing battle stories. <laughs> <laughs> it is unheard of among our kind to offer protection to a potential enemy. To some, this confirms Hazel Ra as a true heir to El Herrera, with all the cunning and trickery needed to overcome every Elo. To others, he is nothing more than a foolish adventurer enthralled to risk and danger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> Kiha. Oh, your friends work hard for me, Hazel. <laughs> Mr. Bigwig, plenty good fellow. Yes, he is. He say you got no mothers. Plenty trouble for you. Mm, true. Listen, Kihar get plan. I go now. Go? Mm. Kihar fly for you. Find plenty mothers. Tell you where they are, yes? Uh, yes. A great idea. I couldn't have come up with anything better myself. <laughs> Wing <We're> good. <laughs> See? Fly tomorrow. Four days. Kiha, where are you? If she doesn't come, then everything we've tried to do will be in vain. She will return. I dreamt that she will bring us the gifts of Elorera, trickery, great danger, and a blessing for the Warren. Danger and blessing. But while you're waiting, come and see the latest developments to Strawberry's plan. What do you think? Great work, Strawberry. Thank you. It's like a honeycomb. The roots from above go straight down, so we, well, we had to dig round them. Yes, I see. But they allow us plenty of space. We'll make the place warmer and help conduct the sound from above, <laughs> which it might be useful. Hazel! Come quick! Kiar's back! Kiar, go this way, go that way. Sun come up, sun go down. Nothing. Oh, thank you for trying. Then, go down into valley and find your kind. <laughs> Where? Far. Uh, not, not far. Big trees all around. They living with men in uh, boxing shed, you know? Yeah, not quite what I was hoping. Oh, wait. Tell more. Fly other way. Way off. Find big town of your people. <gasps> How far? <laughs> For you, two days, maybe. Near River and Iron Road. What's that? Uh, men build them. Are they dangerous? Maybe. Big, big town. Many mothers for you. So there's the situation. We've an opportunity. Now, we have to decide whether or not we're to seize it. If this place is as big as Kihar says, we couldn't take it by force. No. We need a delegation to go to the chief. It's a good idea, but you shouldn't go, Hazel. Blackberry's right. We can't have our chief taking any unnecessary risks. Yeah, well, I'm, good, good. But I'm not the right one for the job anyway. Then who is? What do you think, Fiverr? It should be someone who knows everything there is to know about being out in the open and someone who can speak well as an ambassador. Mm. Then that's Holly. Me? What about Bigwig? No, oh, I'm still not back to fighting strength. Well, even if I were, I'm too rough and ready to play the ambassador. No, Holly, I'm afraid Hazel's right. This is your job. Then I'll do my best to justify your trust, Hazel. Good. And who will you take? Well, you need Dandelion and Blackberry here, so I'd like to take Silver and, though Bigwig might disagree, Strawberry. Uh, strawberry's earned the opportunity. You'll do a good job, Holly. It can sometimes happen in the twilight of a midsummer evening that El Herrera's spirit of happy mischief can enter a young buck's mind so that he feels ready for adventure. Why the secrecy, Hazel? I have an idea. Those rabbits Kihar mentioned in a shed at that farm. You're thinking of trying to get them out? <laughs> oh, no, no, Blackberry. I was just thinking we'd find them and talk to them. Nothing more than that. Oh? Well, at least until we see whether it's worth it. We? Anyone who agrees. And don't tell Fiverr and Bigfoot. So, when do we start? In one of our legends, the Lord Frith tells Elorera, everyone knows that you are a thief and a trickster, and one day your tricks will catch up with you and the world will be rid of a smooth, plausible rascal. There it is. So much noise. It's so quiet on the down, I'd forgotten. And all those farm smells. Straw, cows, dung. Plus, rather a lot of cat. <laughs> and just a little less dog. Mm. No harm in going down and taking a look. Precisely. Oh, 
Well, you said you smelled dog. Hmm. And there it is. Seems safely tied up. And that'll be the shed over there. Doors open too. Come on then. Well, what do you think? It won't be easy getting them out with that wire across the front of the box. Difficult, but not impossible. Hello? Hello? I'm Hazel. Can you understand me? Yes, we understand you. I'm Clover. I'm, my, my name is, is Boxwood, and these are Laurel and Cornflower. Where are you from? The hills. What are they? Where we live. Up on the downs. You live free? Without men? Yes. Why are you here? To invite you all to come and join us. This is the only life we know. You'd soon learn. And once you tasted freedom... But even if we wanted to, how could we escape? We're only allowed out when the farmer opens the door. Let's get a closer look. If anyone can work out a way, it's Blackberry. You can't imagine what it's like being able to come and go whenever you please. Who, who gives you food? We find it ourselves. Plenty of fresh food any time you're hungry. Hazel! There are pieces of leather fixed to the top of the box and the door. With Dandelion's help, we should be able to gnaw through them. Coming! Where we live, we can sleep late or be up first thing to watch the great frith bring light and warmth into the world. I like the sound of that. <laughs> so do I. How far is it? A day's journey, no more. How long is that? We've never been on a journey. The, the leather's starting to give way. Yes, keep at it. Boxwood. When I tell you, I need you all to push on the other side of the wire. Mm -hmm. oh, hurry up. Sounds like the cat's work and the dog. Now, push against the wire. Uh, push harder. Uh, That's one. Uh, push. Again. Let me try. Careful. If it gives way suddenly, you'll all go flying. Uh, Quick as you can. Uh, Follow me. Uh, hurry. Uh, Down the lane. The what? Never mind, come on! Keep them together. Which way? Blackberry, don't let them scatter. This way. Don't look into the light. Shut your eyes and run. Lucy's rabbits are out. Get him in quick. Clover, are you coming? Yes. Stick together. Which way? Don't Where's, stop. Where's Laurel? It's a wild one, too. Hazel, what are you doing? I'll run the other way. They'll shine the light on me for sure. Hazel? No. Do as I say. I'll follow as soon as I can. There he goes. Come on, all of you. Our people are brave. But we have a saying that there are always some who will throw their lives away between two jokes and a theft. The truth is, their foolishness comes from the Black Emissary, for it is by his will that they do not smell the dog or see the gun. There he is, across in the field. I'll see you. Keep the torch on him. Steady. Careful, Hazel! Hazel, where are you? Hazel, he is coming. Hazel, where have you gone? Do you want to know? Who are you? All your people know me, Fiverr. I think you do, too. You speak with the voice of water that falls into pools echoing in the dark. You smell as clean as last year's bones. Yes. Yes, I know you. Then, if you want an answer to your question, you must follow him. Hazel. You can just make him out. A shadowy thing crossing the dew-wet ridge limping down into the dawn mist of the field beyond. Follow him. Here? 
It's where it all began, isn't it? Yes. By the old Warren, the notice board, and the men. This isn't the same board? No. The markings are different. What does it mean? In part one of Watership Down by Richard Adams, dramatised for radio by Brian Sibley, Hazel was played by Gunnar Cawthry, Fiverr by Robert Ems, Bigwig, Annex Lanny Peckham, Blackberry, Finley Robertson, and Dandelion by Luke McGregor. Holly was Nicholas Murchie, Kiha, Karen Barkey, Strawberry, John Dougal. Silver, Gabby Singh Chera. Cowslip, Kezia Joseph. And the men were John Bowler and David Stern. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Watership Down was narrated by Lindsay Marshall. And the producer is Gemma Jenkins. To some among our kind, the great Lord Frith gives authority to lead, to others, power to fight or wisdom to reason. On but a few, he bestows the blessing or the curse of dreaming dreams. One such is Fiverr, and his dreams, however terrifying, will never let him go. Hazel. Hazel, what are you doing? There's danger. I'll run the other way. Be careful. They'll shine the light on me for sure. Hazel! No! Do as I say. I'll follow as soon as I can. Don't, don't do it. Ah! Hazel! Watership Down by Richard Adams. Dramatised by Brian Sibley. Part 2. Loss cuts as viciously as a claw. And like the pain of a bad wound, the effect of a deep shock takes time to be registered and felt. Bigwig? Bigwig. What? Oh, dandelion. What a mess this all is. No word of Holly and his expedition. And Hazel's gone. Why did he do it? What leader risks his life and others for nothing? Not quite for nothing. We now have two does. Yes, two. We've only ever lived on a farm and know nothing about living in the wild like us. If you give us time, we'll do our best to learn. Clover. You didn't ask to be rescued, Bigwig. Uh, you're not the only ones who've lost a friend. Remember, Laurel was left back there too. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <coughs> What's Kia so excited about? News. Holly, coming a big hill now. So, what went wrong? Shouldn't we wait for Hazel? Uh, Hazel. He's not here just now. You'd better tell the rest of us. All right, but it's not a happy story. As you saw, Silver's badly wounded, Strawberry here sick, and we have no dose. Yeah. We failed you. No, no one's blaming you, Holly. No. I don't know if I'm to blame or not. Ephrafa is like no warrant you could ever imagine. It's vast and makes us look nothing better than a dirty little bunch of snivelling hedge scrapers. They're terrified that men will find them and infect them with a white blindness. So the whole place is organised to conceal its existence. Entrances hidden, mm. every single inhabitant, under strict orders. Yes, Strawberry's right. Wide patrols keep watch to warn of danger. It's maximum safety for all, just so long as you're happy to pay the price. Who runs this place? Woundwort. General Woundwort, they call him. Mm. 
He's huge and terrifying. I don't think even you'd match up to him, Bigwig. Blood, fighting and killing are all part of a day's work to him. Yeah, there's a council responsible for every aspect of life, yeah. even feeding and breeding. Every newborn or anyone joining Ephrafra is marked with a savage bite. <sighs> Under the chin, in the haunch, on the foreleg, a scar to identify you for the rest of your life. You're only allowed above ground at given times according to your mark, and Woonworth's Ausler is divided into mark captains with their own officers and sentries. Oh, it must alter them very much living like that. Very much indeed. Most of them can't do anything but what they're told. We learnt that soon enough. There is nothing good about this place. If that's true, Heisenthalay, why does everyone accept the situation? What choice do we have? Has it always been like this? Not until the General came. There's a saying. The people of Ephrafa are as safe as the stars in the sky. And most of us die of old age, unless the owls that kill them off. But the system's breaking down. There are more of us now than the Warren can hold. I've only tried to leave. Once in a while. A few days ago, several of us went to the council and asked if we could go and start a new colony somewhere else, far away, as far away as they liked. And they said no. Woonwork wouldn't hear of it. And now we're marked down as troublemakers. I'll take over here. Report to entrance aids. Yes, sir. Oh, shh, shh. I've said too much. We had hoped that Heisenthalay's request to leave Ephrafa might help us when we were summoned before the council. Take him away! Please, forgive me! Shift yourself, Blackover. You're lucky to be alive. Look at the state of him. Ears ripped and blooded. Whatever he did, he certainly paid for it. Bring in our new arrivals. Move along, you two. General, thank you for seeing us. Listen carefully. I'm going to explain the conditions under which you will live here. It's been a misunderstanding. Hmm? A misunderstanding? We're a delegation to ask for Ephrafa's goodwill and help. Really? We're a small warren with not enough females to survive. We were hoping you might allow us to invite a few of your people to come back with us. That's out of the question. Perhaps we might stay a few days and discuss this again. Oh, yes, you'll stay. But there'll be no further occasion for you to waste the Council's time. That seems very hard. <laughs> you seem to think you're here to argue with us and drive a bargain. We had thought that we were your guests. We are the ones to say what you are. General, animals don't behave like men. If they have to fight, they fight. If they have to kill, they kill. But they never set their wits to devise ways of spoiling other creatures' lives. They have dignity and animality. And your name is? Strawberry. Sir. I shall remember you, Strawberry. Your mark captain will tell you the rules. So? How did you escape? Huh? Holly came up with a plan worthy of El Arrera. You're going to Silfway. Hurry up. No, I'm here with a message from the council. What message? You're to report to the general at once. I don't recognize you as a council messenger. Well, that's your problem. I've delivered the message. If you're not going, I'll go back and tell them you've refused. All right. All right. And we ran for it. Of course, they were soon after us. <laughs> They're closing in! Keep running! It was dark, raining. We didn't know which way to run. Ephra van Ausler are chosen for size and strength, and they're so afraid of the council that they're afraid of nothing else. They're gaining on us! We we'll have to fight! We were about to turn and fight when we came to a steep bank, sloping straight up. Stop climbing! I, I don't think I can make it. Yes, you can. I'm right with you. At the top, broad, flat pieces of wood with great metal rails fixed to them. A noise. A low humming. That's when Strawberry's courage saved us. Holly! Silver! Cross the rails! Now! Then it happens. 
Against hope, the Lord Frith sends one of his great messengers to save us. An enormous thing, as big as a thousand Trudadil, but bigger. Rushing out the dark, splitting the night with smoke and light and fire, roaring and beating on the metal rails till the ground trembled. Suddenly it was gone. Rattling and banging off into the distance. We've no idea what happened to the Ephraphans. Either they ran away or it cut them down. Why Frith sent that terrible fire creature on our account is more than we shall ever know. He brought you safely back to us. We need you more than ever. Because Hazel is gone. No. He has stopped running. What happened? Dandelion was there. He will tell you. I, I cannot... And Fiverr? Fiverr lives each day in a dream of grief. What do you think I'm doing here? Oh, I, I, I cannot understand the talk of men. Do you want to know what he says? That's not possible. Let's suppose, just this once, that it were. Ask him what he's doing. I'm putting up a sign. What for? It says, in memory of Azel Ra. I'm supposed to hang him up on it, as a warning to other trespassers. Oh, no, you can't. That's true, I can't. Because I haven't got him. What does he mean? What he says, he hasn't got him. That's where he's gone. Down that bloody hole, and I can't get him out. No, what hole? Where? None of your business, you little runt. Fiverr. Uh, what? Oh, oh. Blackberry, I, I know what happened to Hazel. He's not dead. Fiverr, he's gone. We all have to stop running one day. He's alive. I saw him. It was a dream. We have to find him. Fiverr. You know where he was shot? We searched everywhere. Take me there, now. The man took him away. No. Fiverr, I saw the blood. But you didn't see Hazel. No. Because he isn't dead. Is this the place? How could I forget? The farm's just beyond that track. Then he must be here. Fiverr, we've looked everywhere. I'll just have to look again. This is too dangerous. I can manage by myself now. Fiverr. Blackberry, quick! Over here! Blood! Hazel's blood! Where is he? In this pipe. Some kind of drain. Hazel? Uh, oh. It's Blackberry. Uh, I'm oh. Fiverr. Fiverr? I'm here, Hazel. Oh. Hello, little brother. Can you move? Uh, uh, no. Uh, shot. Been shot. We'll try to pull you out. Help me, Fiverr. This will hurt. Ready? Yes. I can't. You have to help us. I thought I was finished. I knew you weren't. Can you put pressure on that leg? I don't know. Ah. Uh, we have to get you away from here. Yes. Easy. One step at a time. <laughs> have to stop. All right. But we must reach that hedgerow before that Ella up there spots us. Yes. So, Fiverr found me. I don't know how he knew. Mm. How does he know anything? Look out! Oh. Get behind me, Hazel! Oh, it's Kiha. Why are you shouting? Kiha. Thank Frith for that. H Hazel hurt, yes? The farm men shot him. You get black stones out. Black stones? Always with gun. He's coming little black stones. Uh, take out black stones, you get better. Kiha, look, yes? Uh, you'd better. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, two little stones. Mm. Kiha, have them out, yes? Uh, just do it. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. There. 
He's bleeding again. Yes, bleed. Good, then better. Wait one day, two, then like before, yes? Yes. Tell the others the news, Kia. I tell them he comes soon. I found a good place to shelter. Just through that hedgerow. It's a steep climb to the burrow. And we'll never keep up with Blackberry. Are you sure you're ready? No, but I'll have to try and find the strength. If only I could do more to help. You've done everything. We'd none of us be here without you. You're sure we are here, then? <sighs> That's too mysterious for me, little brother. I, I was thinking of the other place. The one we go to when we sleep and when we... Die? Yes. I think El Herrera comes and goes between the two places as he wants. I, I could never quite make that out from the old tales. Well, our bodies stay here. That's good enough for me. But, but that other country... Some say it is a, an easy place compared with the dangers of living here, but I think that that only shows they don't know much about it. It might just as easily be a wild place and very unsafe. And, and where are we, really? There or here? You sound like that poet in Cowslips Warren. Silverweed, wasn't it? He terrified me. But I think I understood him better than anyone else because he knew where he belonged. And it wasn't here. As for where I belong, there are times when I'm simply not sure. Well, be sure of this. I need you here. And tomorrow, I'm going to get up that hill. How is Silphlay on this beautiful dawn? This must mean that the great Hazel Ra is coming. The prince with a thousand enemies who defeats them all and lives to tell the tale. <laughs> no need to overdo it, Dandelion. <laughs> Nonsense. You carry on, Dandelion. Hey, if I thought you were up to it, I'd give the great Hazel Ra a good cuffing and see what I got for my trouble. <laughs> I'm game if you are, baby. <laughs> I dare say. But I imagine that crime was more than enough exertion for one day, even for a cheater of death. Hazel! Strawberry! Are you better? Oh, more or less. I keep thinking I'm back in Epipha. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it'll pass. As long as I sleep a lot and sit in the sun. With his heroic dash, Hazel has acquired a kind of magical quality in the eyes of his friends. There's no further suggestion that he was reckless in going to the farm. Against all odds, he has returned, bringing luck back to Watership Down. What did you make of Holly's story? Ephrafa sounds terrifying. And he's not the sort to exaggerate. No. But we've got to go back there. Go back? Try again. How? Not by reasoning with them, and certainly not by fighting. We'll need to do it by means of a trick. Oh? This trick has to do three things. First, get those who want to leave out of Ephrafa. Second, avoid pursuit. And third, vanish. <laughs> there must be no chance of their finding their way to Watership Down. We have to disappear. That would be quite a trick. Yes. And this trick, Blackberry, is going to be devised by you. Uh, I know you must have been really disappointed not to have got rid of me at Nuthanger Farm. <laughs> so, I've decided to go a bit further next time. Where's that? Ephrafa. You're not serious. Well, that's the plan. We go to Ephrafa and bring back as many of those who want to leave. Well, there are plenty who'd be glad to leave the place, if yeah. only they could. But I'd rather die than go back to Epipha, or anywhere near it. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to, Strawberry. Or Holly, you both did your very best. We didn't. We let you down, but you can't imagine that place unless you've been there. Well, I have a pretty strong idea from what you've said. But we're going to do it. I'm sorry, Hazel, it can't be done. Uh, Blackberry and I have got a plan. I'll explain it. Great, Frith, Hazel. 
I never thought the time would come when I'd have to speak against you, but if you go through with this plan, it will cost lives into the bargain. He's right. Holly's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. As I see it, we can stay here and try to make the best of things, or we can put them right once and for all. I'm with Holly. The best thing to do with a place like Ephrifa is to stay as far away from it as possible. Well, yes, there's a risk. But in getting to where we are now, haven't we faced one risk after another? Oh, come. I hate General Woundwort and his council with all my guts. And if we're really going to make fools of them, I want to be there. Hazel! Blackberry, what news? Kihar's willing to help us. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh. I've only one question. What does Fiverr think? I believe Hazel's right, and I will go with him. But I promise you this, if I have any misgivings, I shan't keep them to myself. And if that happens, then I shan't ignore them. So, what do we do? Stay here and scratch each other's eyes out over two does? Or go and rescue those who want to escape from Ephrafa? Well, if anyone's interested, while you're all thinking it over, you might as well know that I'm going. Thanks for not trying to stop us, Holly. Would there have been any point? Besides, loyalty is my second nature. <laughs> I know. I'll look after things here, but please don't underestimate the dangers. No doubt Fiverr will let me. Send news by Kihar if you can. Now, Frith, go with you. June is moving towards July as they set forth through thick hedgerows transformed into dim, sun-flecked caves of flowering marjoram and cow parsley, across fields heavy with the smell of green standing corn, the song of the yellowhammer on the still, hot air, on past woods filled with shadows and the fear of dangers, pursuing a weary way until they come to the iron road and its singing rails, and still on again. Hazel, you all right? Yes, why? The leg. Uh, it's fine. You should rest. We have to press on, you know that. There's something else that you need to know. Come the time, you're going to have to be the one to carry through our plan. Hazel, listen. Fighting, yes, anywhere. But this game is more in someone else's line than mine. You're the only one who can do it. it doesn't sound like you're giving me a choice. You know I'm right. <laughs> You come. River soon. Go other side. Swim across? No. No swim. She big. She deep. She go quick. Well, then how? Is there it... is bridge. A uh, bridge? Main thing. Cross river. Other side, close to Warren. Plenty place to hide. Should we risk this bridge thing, Fiverr? Your raid on the farm was far more dangerous than this. What for you wait? Hazel, we mustn't hesitate. I'll go first, but we have to get on with it. <laughs> yes, I know. Come on, then. <sighs> wasn't so hard, was it? Not all strange things are bad. Oh, I was concerned that none of us fell into the water. Hazel, uh, fearless but always anxious for others. <laughs> Here! Come and look at this. What's he found? What is it? Not know this man thinks he's hunt sort of boat. Boat? Men make them go on water. Might just be what we need. Uh, explain. It's like that piece of wood we used to get fiber over the stream when we first set out. By Frith, I remember pushing that, and you're not getting me pushing this great thing. What puzzles me is why it sits in the water but goes nowhere when the river runs so fast. It's like rope it. tied up, see? Oh, through that metal thing and fixed back here on the bank. Yes, bike through rope and bob on damn quick all the way. Oh, great golden frith on a hill. It'll work. What will? Don't you see? We get everyone on this boat thing and before General Woundworth and his Owlsler can catch up with us, we bite through the rope and off we go. What do you think, Hazel? Could you bite through that rope? It's stretched tight. That makes it easier to gnaw. Yes, I could do that. Yes, you go fine, but you do it quick, yes? Before maybe something change and man come and take boat. Then there's nothing more to wait for. So who's going to Ephrifa? It has to be Bigwig. Yeah, no, 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 I think so. I'd hope to have a bit more time to think this over. 
Well, I guess it's all to the good. I've never been much good at waiting. It's all right. You'll go. That seems to be that. Send word by Kiha what you need us to do. We should all be here, ready to back you up. <sighs> Better get on with it. Dusk is falling as Bigwig comes to Ephrathar. General Woonwurt is watching the near hind mark at Silfle. General! Yes, Campion. The Thalesi here wants to join Ephrathar. Wants to? That's what he says, sir. Come here. Who are you? My name is Thlaley. Thlaley, sir. And what do you want? As Campion told you, I've come to join Ephrathar. He is Captain Campion to you. Why exactly do you want to join us? It's your warren, isn't it? Is there something odd about wanting to join? What can you do? I can run and fight. I've been an officer in an hour's life. <laughs> fight, can you? Yeah, could you fight Campion there? If you want me to. You don't be a fool. Back down. Where were you in an hour's life? Far off from here. Men destroyed the war and I escaped, and I've been wandering some time. I heard of Ephrafer and have come a long way to join it. I thought you might have some use for me. And you're alone? I am now. I dare say we might be able to find some use for you, as you put it. Campion will look after you tonight, and tomorrow you'll come before the council. Meanwhile, no fighting. We can give you plenty to do without that. How's the mark, Slayer Lee? Painful? Still bloody. You've a strong bite, Campion. In Ephrathar, you carry a mark for life. Hmm. You ought to accompany me on my watch this way. Silfle has to be policed with diligence. You never know when trouble's coming. How do you check them in and out? We know them all by sight. That'll be part of your job. What's that black rabbit doing just standing there by the entrance? Oh, him? Yeah, his ears are half ripped off. Veteran of some battle. <laughs> you! State your name. Blackavar, sir. And why are you not going to Silfle, Blackavar? I am not allowed to Silfle at this time, sir. And why are you here? I come so the mark can see me. And the punishment I have received from the council. Punishment for? I, I don't know, sir. I can't remember. Tell him, Blackavar. For my treachery in trying to leave the Warren. He won't last much longer. He'll meet a blacker rabbit than himself one of these nights. Mm. Now, when they come up to feed, you keep guard here while I go out onto the field. What for? In case they try and run away. Well, why would they? A bunch of does started a row at council recently, complaining about overcrowding, asked to leave. Huh? The generals split them up between the different marks, and we've got a couple that need watching. That one's Nelthilter. Who's your new friend, Captain? Just keep moving. And you, you might try and teach young Nelthilter some respect. I'm sure we all give respect where it's earned. On your way. That's Heiselflay. She was the ringleader. Keep an eye on her for me, Thlaley. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, by the way, hmm? about mating. You can send for any doe in the mark you want. Officer's perk. Hmm. You sent for me, Flaley. I want to talk to you, Heisenthal. I am in the mark, sir, and under your orders. Come closer. Sir? Don't be afraid. Do you remember some time ago three strangers came to Ephrafa? You talked with their leader. His name was Holly. How do you know? I'm from the same Warren. Did you hear what happened when they escaped? A patrol went after them and Ephrathans were killed in the pursuit. Crossing the Iron Road? Yes. Holly and the others got back safely and one of them is not far from here now with several others. Our leader, Hazel, and his brother, Fiverr, and they're waiting. What for? For me. And for as many others as want to join us. Do you believe me? 
Heisenthal? Yes. I believe you. How do you know I'm not a council spy? I can tell. Holly spoke of your friend, Fiverr, and how he sees things. I see things too, but not often now, for my heart is in the frost. Then you will join me. Oh. And persuade your friends as well. Heisenthal, do you believe we can escape from Ephrafa? Please, I have to know. Um, the danger's very great. But yes, we can escape Ephrafa. Beyond that, uh, nightfall, uh, confusion, f fear, fear, men, men, all things of men. A rope snapping like a dry branch. A rabbit riding a harududu. I've become foolish. T tales for babies on a summer evening. I, I cannot see as I used to. Nothing more than the, the shapes of trees beyond a field of rain. You need to meet Fiverr. He talks like that. And I trust him, so I trust you too. My courage is so much less than it was. I'm here now. How many in this mark could be ready to join an escape? There's plenty of discontent lately, but they mustn't be told until the last minute. Spies are everywhere. One more thing. We're taking Blackovar. He's always under guard. I know it adds to the risk, but I can't leave him behind. So be quick. Yes? He say... Sunset tomorrow. Oh, at last. Sunset come, Kihar go see Bigwig make escape. Drive off sentries. You all down by big arch under iron road. Bigwig come there. We'll be ready. So, everything planned good. And if Bigwig get chased, we all ready to fight, yes? Get moving. Softly. Hurry up. Under the weather, Captain. Never mind, you might be in for a surprise soon. What do you mean, no filter? We might grow wings and fly. Oh, no. Stop it, Jada. Move on. Lately, they're all ready. The bird should be there. Wait for my signal. Yes. Be careful. <sighs> this is it, then. Here we go. Slowly. I want a few words with you. Sir? One of the officers reported seeing you taking careless risks with a large gull. Aren't you afraid of those birds? Not particularly. I see. You're strong. But those birds can be dangerous. What makes it even more curious is that those birds are not in season. I wonder why it's still here. I couldn't say, sir. Could you not? The officer mentioned something else. Sir? You have a very particular look about you. Um, I'd say, once seen, never forgotten. A few days back, this particular officer had been on patrol and reported seeing a group of travellers not far from here. He thought you looked familiar. Can't think why, sir. The day after tomorrow, I'll lead a wide patrol to try and pick up traces of these trespassers. I think you should come along. You can start impressing me with your skills. Are you sure he said tonight? Kihar waited. Big wig no come. Maybe they find out plan, stop him. You think him finish? I don't know. Fiver? I can't see. Everything's clouds and thunder. Ephrafa is like the bottom of a river. Anything could be happening in there. I'm frightened, Clayley. I know. I told them all before Silfle. They were ready to run as soon as the bird attacked the sentries, and then nothing happened. Wound work delayed me. Now everything's at risk. Too many know about the plan. No secret can be kept in Ephrafa. I have to get a message to Hazel. Oh, Kiha. Big week, he all right. Oh, thank Frith. So what do we do now? Tonight. He say it happened tonight, for sure. Lely! Lely! What's wrong? nelfilter has been arrested. When? Just now. There's an order out that no one is to leave the Warren. She'll tell them everything. We have to go. At once. 
but the bird won't come till later. Can't be helped. Get the others and bring them here. I'll think of something. Lord of the Starlight Ears, send me a sign. Marjoram, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Well, didn't you get the order? Order, sir? Early silf late tonight because of the weather. No, sir. Well, don't just stand there. Move. Go down and fetch Blackavar up. And then we need to get the mark out of there to feed before the storm breaks. We need to reach the Iron Road at the same time as Big Week. With that leg of yours, you'll not be able to make a dash for it. The best thing you can do is stay here on the boat and wait for us. I can't do that. You must. Five is right. We can't risk you being picked up by the Ephrathans. Besides, we need that rope gnawed halfway through by the time we get back. All right, all right. But if Bigwig doesn't come tonight, I shall go and find him, wherever he is. The traitor Blackavar, sir. Oh, I've brought you here for nothing, I'm afraid. Silflay's been cancelled. Look outside to see why. Stormy looking. Mm. I wouldn't have thought it'd be enough to cancel Silflay. Blackavar. Yes, sir. In a moment, I'm going to ask for your help. Don't let me down. Sir? Are you sure that Silphair's been... <laughs> right. Back of our now, hold him down. Don't, don't hurt me, please. Keep quiet, or I'll kill you. You all right, Black of our? Yes, sir. You? Apart from the shoulder. Listen, some of us are leaving. You can come with us, or you can stay. But you have to decide now. I'll come, sir. Good. Big wig. Eyes and players, that everyone? All those who come. Right. Follow me, all of you, and keep close. Now! Come on! Now! No sign of the bird. We're too early. She'll find us. We need to get to the arch under the Iron Road. Keep the others together. Right here. Stay close to me. All of you. Come on, then. Hold! That's your order! Don't try to stop us, Captain. Get the others to close up. Jump on any stragglers. Everyone to me! You'd better give in, clearly. I don't want to hurt you, Captain. You don't stand a chance. Can I fight him, sir? He will beat me a second time. He's just trying to delay us. We keep moving! Really? The general? Round them up and finish off that traitor. You heard the general? As for you, Flaherty, I'm going to kill you myself. <laughs> Kia! <Keyhole! laughs> Adam, the gun! What are your orders? Dandelion, where's Hazel? At the boat. Right, Silver, get those doughs to him. Black of will go with you. Dandelion, we've got to help Kia. <laughs> We have to get them onto the boat. They'll only do what Bigwick tells them. Well, where is Bigwick? I'm here. Oh, oh. Bigwick. Pies and play. Tell them to get on the boat. Yes, Lily. Make them understand it's safe. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hazel, the rope is it bitten through. Ready to break. Then do it. Dandelion's not here. He was right behind me. We have to leave him. No. Oh, hold them off. Oh, look out. I trusted you, Flaley. Now you can trust me. You'll either go into the river or be torn to pieces here. The whole lot of you. Patrols! When I give the word, we go straight into them. There's Dandelion. How'll he get past them? As for that bird, it's not dangerous. Well, tell her that won't work. She's coming right for you. Where? Where? Dandelion, quick. Oh, thanks. There's nowhere left to run. No, Hazel, now. <laughs> Done. It worked. Oh. The kestrel swoops on the mouse and finds only the mouse hole. There you go. I will find you. Woundworth's not like the rest of us. He understands nothing of defeat. That was a good trick you pulled just now. <laughs> But where is Kiha? I don't know. I just know I couldn't go through all that again. You haven't got to. 
thanked Thrift for that. Hazel, uh, this is Heisenberg. Mm. I've heard about you and your courage. And I've heard a lot about you, too. How are the others? None of us really understand what's happening. <laughs> the boat. <laughs> We'd explain if we fully understood ourselves. Oh. Hey! Hey! So, all good now, yes? Well, without you, it would have been impossible. What do you do now? Back to Big Hill? Yes. And you? Kihar go to Big Water. She's very late. Will we see you again? Kihar come see you on Big Hill, yes? But you won't forget. We'll be looking out for you. Come down suddenly like you did back there. <laughs> and try to the little ones away, yes? <laughs> go well! Thank you, Kihar! So, the Odyssey continues as the first faint touch of bronze appears on the green boughs of the beech trees. The wanderers return to Watership Down. For some, it is a homecoming. For others, an arrival. Look ahead, little brother. Seems to be a welcoming party. Hazelra! Five hours! Is everyone safe? <laughs> everyone who went has come back. They'll be here soon. And the mission? You'll see, Holly. We've watched for you every evening since you went. Clover's going to kindle. <laughs> That's fine, isn't it? <laughs> yes. And now she'll just be the first. In that moment, it seemed that the adventure was finally at an end. But we had forgotten that there is always one last bitter frost before the coming of spring. Hazel! It's Holly and Blackover. Something's wrong. Woodworth tracked us here with his strongest forces. We must leave at once and know them. No, anyone who wants to can go. We made this warren and Frith only knows what we've been through on account of it. I'm not leaving now. Nor right. Then let's get everyone underground and the holes filled in. Yes. Yes, do both those things. Uh, where are you going? To talk with Woundworth. What? what? Big Wig, your chief until I come back. Uh, or until I don't. <sighs> I've come to ask why you're here and what you want. You were on the riverbank. Yes. What was left unfinished there will be finished now. We are going to destroy you. You won't find it easy. We do better to come to terms. <laughs> terms? These are my terms. Give back all those you took and hand over the deserters, Slaley and Blackabar. I've come to suggest something different and better for us both. That rather than fight, our communities work together. A lot of your people are unhappy. It's all you can do to keep them together. But with my plan, things could be different. Silence! Don't our kind have enough enemies without us fighting among ourselves? Oh, you're suggesting an alliance. Exactly. Two Warrens, independent, coexisting. Doesn't it make sense? It is then that Woundwort is offered the opportunity to show if he is a leader of vision and genius or no more than a tyrant. The idea shines clearly before him and fleetingly he grasps it and realizes what it means. What do you say? That you're in no position to bargain. There's no more to be said. Champion, tell Captain Beauvais to bring everyone up here at once. We prepare for battle. And this one, shall I kill him? No. They sent this limping messenger to ask our terms. Well, we can take them back. You tell them that if the runaways aren't waiting outside your warren with Laley and Blackavar by the time I get there, I will tear the throat out of everyone in the place. Dig! Break in and we'll finish them. Dig! You seem to be putting them to a lot of trouble. 
All that digging will certainly blunt their claws. Can they get in? There's a lot of ground between them and us. The tree roots will hold everything together. But if they start further down, the roof won't hold for long. River, cross, dog. Hazel, uh, Fiver. What are you doing, little brother? Uh, uh, listening to the digging. No, something else. Close, deep. Leaf drift deep. Uh, I'm going, Hazel. Going away. Fiver. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, water! I can't get across. Too dangerous. Stop it. Before he panics the others. Fiver, wake up. <laughs> if we're crossing this river, then we must do it straight away. What's he talking about? A large dog loose in the wood. Good for its sake. I saw it crossing a clearing. Only a matter of time. Hazel. Oh, it's cold. So cold. Falling. Falling. Of course. What? Dandelion. Blackberry, come with me. Big wig, hold the fort. Hazel, Where are you going? Hazel. To gnaw another rope. There's nothing left to dig, sir. The roof of the run will cave in as soon as we enter. How many in there, do you think? I cannot tell, sir. There's no sound at all. Maybe they're waiting to attack us when we break in. They've not done much attacking so far. Three run off in the night and the rest skulking underground. They won't give us much trouble. We're early enough. The dog's still asleep. So what's the plan? You stay up here. Dandelion and I'll go down to the farm. And then? You lie in the grass opposite the kennel, while I climb up on top and bite through the rope. You'll see it drop and the dog will be free. It's up to you to make it chase you. You're fast, so don't let it lose you. All that matters is to get it to Blackberry. And I take it on from there, back to the Warren. And that should finish wound work for good and all. <laughs> if we all meet again, we ought to have the making of the best story ever. They're getting closer. I can play and the other refugees are at the far end of the warren. The passage down to them has been blocked. And, and when they break through into here? Then it's as good as over. This place wasn't built to be defended. We're not done yet. I have an idea. What if I were to dig myself into the floor of this passage? Right where they'll have to come through. Exactly. You three cover me up with earth. There's so much mess they'll never notice. Then, when Wilmwork brings his troops, there'll be a surprise waiting for him. Could work. And delaying tactics, nothing more. But let's get digging. <laughs> Not easy keeping a balance up here. The dog's waking! I'm almost through the rope. You ready? Ready? The brutes hurt me. Hazel, there's a cat! Oh, that's all I need. The rope's ready. Let the dog see you now. Look out! Just go! Run, dandelion! Oh, my leg. Ready? Sir. Remember, you're Ephraphans, strong, trained. You're fighting against thieves and traitors for what's yours. I'll lead you to victory and you will show no mercy. Right, let's get this business finished, Campion. Break the wall through, let me in there. Impressing you. Oh, by have. In the cramped space, they come together. Claw to claw, head to head, chest to chest, bite to bite, pushing forward, thrusting back force and weight against strength and will until injuries and exhaustion bring them to a standstill. Quick. Oh, 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 that you, Holly? Everyone all right? They're all right. Let me take your place. You need a rest. God, no room to get past me. If I give way now, I'll follow and be loose in the burrows. What are you waiting for, the lady? Leave it to me. I know what I'm doing. Come on, then, General. <laughs> <laughs> That dog's faster than I expected. 
Go, Blackberry. I'll never make it. Yes, you will. Quick! The others are depending on you. Burbank, sir. Slayley won't give us any more trouble. Just go down there and finish him off. You want me to fight him, sir? I need to see about getting the other walls broken through. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, if you can't get the better of him, sir, truth is, Slayley's had the best of it ever since he arrived in Ephrathur. Well, you know it, sir. The troops know it. You listen, Vervain. If my authority goes, where do you think yours will be? Huh? You're the most hated officer in Ephrathur. Flaley has got to be killed. Whichever of you's planning to fight me, let's get it over with. We've unblocked another run out here. I can bring in enough troops to finish the lot of you. You might as well come out. My chief has told me to defend this run. But until he says otherwise, I'm staying. Flaley's not the chief. There's another, stronger than him. Vervain. What if he comes back? Oh, you coward! All right, I'll finish him myself. General! There's a dog! What? Run! Run for your life! Wait! Come back, you fools! Come back! What? Dogs aren't dangerous! Come back and fight! <laughs> You did it, Bigwig. I'm not sure he heard me. He was awake a little while ago and asking where you were. <laughs> Bigwig? It's all over. He's finished. <laughs> Wound work. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> well, no more fighting for me. I've had enough. <laughs> well, I'd never thought I'd hear you say that. So, the plan worked, I take it. <laughs> Touch and go, but yes. We thought we'd lost him. Last I saw, he was being pounced on by a cat. <laughs> it sounds unlikely, but I was saved by a man. Well, that is, one of their young. How did you get back from the farm? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear this. <laughs> the man brought me back. In a frou <laughs> He did ride home in a frou that night in Ephrathah. My dream. Bigwig, remember? I remember. And I remember what I said, too. I, I said, you better tell that to Fiverr. <laughs> you did. Oh, oh, let's tell it to him, then. Oh, and if Fiverr believes you, Hazel are, then so will I. Each, the saga has its own ending. General Woonwort, gone. Some say he still lives, but none have seen him. Others say he has stopped running, but no one has ever seen his body. Some of the Ephraphan survivors return to their home, where, under the leadership of Campion, life begins to change for the better. Others asked to join us on Watership Down and settle in quickly and well because of Hazel's determination that they should. Our community thrives and the first of many new generations is born. And Hazel Ra? He is renowned for his courage and wisdom and for having come back from beyond not once, but twice. I seem to know this story of yours, but I can't quite remember where I heard it. Listen to him, Eisenthaler. It's your story that I've been telling. Mm. Is it really about me? Or some great hero of days gone by? Maybe they are one and the same. All I know is that I've lived a long while and seen many things. Much of which I would rather not have seen. You look tired. Yes. I suppose I am. I have a memory of something you once asked me, Fiverr. Where are we, really? Here? Or in that other place where we go in dreams and... Uh... Well, anyway, it's turning chilly. I'll be heading back. 
I'll come and join you soon. Yes. Hazel? Little brother? Nothing. Good. Viva. What's wrong? Can't you feel him? He's coming, isn't he? Hazel? Hazel Ra? I didn't hear you come in. Do you want to talk to me? Yes. That's, That's what, what I've for. come for. Do I know you? Yes. You know, you me. know me. Of course. Your eyes. Red with a light that gives no light. Yes, my lord. I know you. You've, You've been, been feeling, feeling weary, weary, haven't you? Haven't you? Yes. Well, well, I can, can do, do something, something about, about that. that. I've, I've come, come to ask whether, you whether you'd join my Ausler. We shall be glad to have you, and, and you'll, you'll enjoy, enjoy it. it. We might, we go, might along go along now. Now? now. If, if you're, you're ready. ready. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. I have to leave them all behind now? Yes, but you needn't worry about them. They'll be all right, and thousands like them. They will? If you come along, I'll show you what I mean. Time to embark on a new odyssey. But I stopped running just a moment ago. No, the running is just beginning. Well, are you ready? Yes. Come on, then. Let's run! Let's run. They reach the top of the bank, each with a single powerful leap, and together they slip away, running easily down through the wood, where the first primroses are beginning to bloom. In part two of Watership Down by Richard Adams, Heisenthlay was played by Lindsay Marshall, Hazel by Gunnar Cawthry, Fiverr by Robert Ems, Woundwort, Paul Hilton, Bigwig, Alex Lanny Peckham, and Blackberry by Finley Robertson. Dandelion was Luke McGregor, Holly, Nicholas Murchie, Kihar, Karen Barkey, Strawberry, John Dougal, Silver, Gabby Singh Chera. Campion, John Bowler. And the farmer was David Stern. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Watership Down was dramatised by Brian Sibley. And the producer was Gemma Jenkins. Mm -hmm.